what up YouTube uh, some of you guys asked for an update so I'm gonna make one to be honest the reason I haven't made one is because I fucked my shit up so I've been fixing it um, so I'm gonna call this the I fucked my shit up date um, you guys don't like cousin sorry um, so what I did was the last video you guys saw I had the whole car that nice coppery um, you know candy brown looking rust color and I, I had cleared it with that matte clear so um, I cleared it with that matte clear and it was clear I, I cured it in the garage man I rolled it outside in the sun even rolled it back in it was clear it was cured to the touch touched it was fine um, I started working on the hood and like the door panels so I rolled the body and um, the truck bed outside one day and I left it out there it was starting to rain so I brought the cab back in left the body out there and I covered the body with uh, plastic so the next day when I come out I peeled the plastic off and um, the whole bed had changed like five tones of like rust brown dark desert brown rust um, and and there was actually like rust on top of the clear and when I ran my hand across it and smelled it I could smell that vinegar so what I'm thinking is the plastic pulled that solution reactivated it and and some of it got trapped under the clear some of it came up through there and uh, it was a matte clear anyway and it was dry in some spots and shiny in others so I really didn't care for it anyway but uh um, so what I'm thinking is uh, you know the plastic reactivated that so you know I could have took baking soda and water and kind of neutralized that solution before I cleared it but the reason I didn't is because you'll get these white spots in it and then you can't wipe it and you can't put water on it and wash it off or anything because the rust will come right off the metal so um, I don't know if it was just that I didn't neutralize it or what I really think it is is uh, that plastic I think it just it cured for about two weeks I don't think it cured long enough and then I put that plastic on there and it kind of sucked that stuff up reactivated it back through the clear so um, I think if I'd have let it you know cure for like a month or two and then put some water or put a plastic on there it would have been fine so what I did was I had to scuff all this shit back down and I know it was 100% the plastic that did it and not the clear because the body was still was inside and it was still that like nice candy orange rust color so I was screwed I didn't know what to do so I figured I tested out I rolled the body out I sprinkled it with water covered it with uh with plastic for a night came back out peeled it sure shit man it's it's dark brown just like everything else I mean it looks cool don't get me wrong I like it it's cool I originally wanted this dark brown rust color anyway so um, you know the, the candy orange rust kind of looked too much like paint anyway so I, I'm cool with it so what I did was I just went and grabbed a regular clear coat a shiny clear coat because uh, you know that that stuff that matte clear really wasn't matte and it was kind of shiny and dull in spots and shitty so what I did was uh, um, I actually neutralized it with a solution just to be safe I scuffed everything down man I knocked all the clear back down I put water and um, baking soda in that solution sprayed the whole body whole bed everything um, let that dry it had this whole white film and then I took like a, let's see I took let me see if I can find this shit here garage will fucking mess now I took this pre-clean here after that and uh wipe this wipe the whole body down the whole bed the whole body um because this is you know what you put on before you you clean up with before you paint and shit like that so i got everything off of there um with that and then i took um one of these tack cloths here and i went over the whole body whole cab door panels everything with it and then uh i just shot a regular clear so here it is it's it's curing now i just got done with the shit so here it is. Now, like I said, the mat was uh, was kind of clear like this anyway, so who gives a fuck? And, and you can see the color. Look at the color of the body now. God, isn't that crazy? It's like straight, no orange at all, just like 100 years old brown. And no matter what I tried to do, I couldn't get that color. Like, I tried and tried and tried to get that fucking color. I kept spraying that solution and, and letting it sit outside on test panels, and I just couldn't get that color. So it was kind of a a weird uh incident that you know coincidence that i wrapped it with that plastic and it turned that color it's, it kind of activates it i don't know what happens in there but uh the plastic must react with it and just create like an environment in there for that to happen so that's the color and here's here's the bed i don't know how well you'll be able to see the actual color
So it's still, I mean, in person, it's uh, it's like coppery brown, dark coppery brown. The camera's really lightening everything. It's not that color like you see here. So it's it's kind of it's it's really is dark. Um, but that's it. So just put a regular clear on there. I said I didn't uh, sit there and make sure it's perfect or anything. I mean, I followed the directions at a 50 percent overlap and shit like that you know three coats and and uh that's about it but see so you kind of get a real feel for it where the light's not hitting see the darker brown it's kind of the real color of the truck and this is coming out really red in the video it's really not and this is all scuffed and cleaned and you know reshot You can see it's it's just uh when you do that rust and then you clear over that rust, there's really you're gonna have pat like dry and, and wet spots because of the the texture of that rust is like you know it's diff got different texture so you're not certain places just soak that shit up see it right there like how that soaked it up so what I did was I kind of went back in and where there were light spots like it where it soaked it up I kind of hit those a little more um, just to try to make it even as even as I could. And it came out, it came out okay. I mean, I like it. I got like one fucking, I was over here and you see how tight it is over here. I was like too close and I got one run in the fucking door over here. I'm not going to do anything to it. I'm just going to leave it though. Fuck it. It's a rat rod. It's not a fucking show car. Let's see if I can get that run in the video. Hmm. See if I can even find it. Maybe right there. See it? Run right there. And let's see. I had another one. Oh yeah, right here. Look at them drips. Look at that. See that? Fuck that up. Way too close. I was over here up against this fucking thing. I should have pulled it out and sprayed it, but I'm leaving it, man. I'm not fucking with that. I don't care. You can see this whole side, like, <laughs> I'm finding runs as I go. Now, see, there's another run right there. I was just way too close over here. Should have rolled it out and backed it up. But you can see how dark it is. And then the inside, it's all fucking fucked up now and dirty, but I took um, that bed liner. I painted all that with that bed liner. See, it's all fucking dirty. And then when I had it outside getting wet, I forgot about the wood in the speaker box, so I put that shit in there to kind of soak up the water <laughs> but that's it i rusted that shit out i cleared that um you know the wood floor is going to go in there and dynamat and all that so you won't see the floor but that looks pretty cool and this actually looks really cool and what i meant to do is touch it up now that i cleared everything because there's probably clear on it ain't no big deal so that's it man if you're going to use that solution um you're gonna have to make a judgment call, man. Like, um, neutralize it with baking soda and water after you get done, but I don't know. Maybe do some test panels and see, you know, if you can actually get it off somehow. Like, I don't know, because you're gonna have white, even when I sprayed it on this body and, and bed and shit, it, there was white flakes of it everywhere, and you ha I really had to, like, wipe the shit out of it to get it off there. So you can't do that directly on the metal, or, you know, you're just screwed, so. But that's it, man. That's the update. Um, next, I'm going to yank the motor from the other donor car, put it in here, I'll paint it, put it in here, and put this cab back on and start putting this motherfucker together, man. I'm going to start doing my floors. I still got to weld in my dash. Um, I put the two little holes there for my air ride buttons, and I'm going to install the stereo, speakers, amps, battery back here. And, you know, I've already done this part with the wood, so I just got to do the floor to match. And we're there, man, cooking with gas. And then I can put my original rims back on, and uh, I'll be there. So that's the update, man, and that's why I didn't update, because, uh, like I said, I really fucked it up. But I recovered. I guess that's what matters, right? So these, I just cleared this part, because this part up, I'm doing the black um, uh, bed liner shit. So that's it, man. Thanks for watching.